Hello everyone, class is back in session here at Desert Tech and today we're going to go over the OG, the Stealth Recon Scout, also known as the SRS Rifle Platform. The SRS has been an extremely successful platform for us since the very beginning. Because of the rifle's incredible accuracy, its multi-caliber disposition, and the ability to return to zero each and every time. For those of you who are new to the SRS platform, or those of you who have been shooting it for years, today we'll show you what makes the SRS so unrivaled in its performance. The SRS receiver is split down the middle, which allows it to compress using the four barrel tension screws when tightened. All SRS barrels have the same size shank at the breech. This allows the barrel to snugly fit into the receiver to be clamped in. The barrels index using a steel feed ramp in the six o'clock position that engages the barrel extension. There's also a barrel lock that cams into the barrel shank to ensure the barrel stays in position. These features are what allow every SRS barrel to be seated and torqued into place the same way every time. The four barrel tension screws provide uniform clamping pressure along the broad surface of the barrel shank. This pressure not only secures the barrel into the receiver, it also adds additional strength to the combined assembly. The large surface engagements between barrel and receiver are what make the SRS barrels perfectly rigid and free floated. The tight fitting barrel shank and receiver are to thank for the rifle's ability to return to zero. There is very little room for variation between barrel and receiver, and when using the proper torque wrench to tighten the screws, the barrel is seated to the same spot every time. That is why we can guarantee all SRS rifles will return to zero every time. For those of you who will ask the question, the exact sequence of barrel installation might vary from one shooter to another. We recommend following the instructions in the owner's manual and follow the same process every time for best results. Some of the older rifles used a 70 inch pound torque spec, which was and is still fine. The newer rifles have been raised to 80 inch pounds to coincide with the HTI specifications. But for the SRS, you can use either of them. Again, the same process every time for best results. Let's go over some of the issues you might encounter with heavy use of your SRS rifles barrel change system. First, some accessories may cause an occlusion when swapping out the barrel. For example, M-lock nuts and screws that protrude into the A2's handguard to prevent the barrel from being installed or removed. If so, remove the protruding accessories before changing your barrel. Some QD sling attachments can also interfere with barrel service. If so, remove them beforehand. Also, ensure that any suppressors or suppressor mounts do not make contact with any part of the handguard. This condition will likely affect accuracy and cause inconsistencies. Anytime you remove your barrel, make sure to use great care not to damage, scratch, or mar the barrel in any way. Use compressed air to blow dirt or debris from within the receiver and wipe down the barrel shank before installation to remove any debris. Do not use lubricant on the barrel. Inspect the leading edge of the barrel shank for burrs or damage. These can cause binding or damage in the receiver. Following these instructions will help maintain your SRS's performance and keep it running for years to come. Keeping its accuracy and modularity intact. My name is Elio. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more of these videos. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them below. We'll see you in the next one.